Good afternoon, I'm Jay Thornberry. And I'm Campbell Daw here, and we are your Pikeville News Anchors. First off, we're gonna shed some light on our academic team. They got first place overall in district. Our Beta Club recently made the trip down to Louisville and competed against the top high schools in the state. Our club brought home 11 trophies. Big shout out to our PHS STLP team for qualifying for state. The project they designed was to help clean up the pond. They are just now pitching their idea to the city. Also, we had our new varsity court winners, Annie Sawyer and Christian Builder. Huge shout out to Pikeville's very own Emma Johns for winning Miss Kentucky team. Here's an interview with her to get more information on. Hey Pike High School, I'm Jay Thornberry and I'm here with Miss Teen Kentucky, Emma Johns. Emma, what has being Miss Teen Kentucky done for you so far? I've got to work with a lot of different charities and I got a scholarship to EKU which is awesome. So it's just gave me a lot more opportunities than I would have had if I wasn't Miss Teen Kentucky. Okay, Emma, so what has the journey been like to get here? Well, that was my first pageant I've ever competed in. I hadn't done anything like that, and I just trained for like three months for it, and I worked out, and I worked with a trainer, and Katina Genesis, and she taught me everything I need. Okay, so what do you see in the future? Like, what's your next step you're going to go to? Well, I'm going to be competing at the Miss Teen USA pageant, which we don't know the date yet or where it's going to be at, but it'll probably be in May, so everyone look for the YouTube, because it's going to be live on YouTube, so look out for me on that. Recent rankings place Pikeville as sixth in the state for performance academically. Our seniors here have a 22.5 ACT average. Pikeville Bands hosted its first annual percussion camp on January 25th and 26th at Pikeville High School. The event was specifically for junior and senior high students enrolled in Pikeville High School's Percussion Studies 1 and 2 courses. The camp's featured guest clinician was Dr. Matthew Geiger, assistant professor of percussion at East Tennessee State University, where he coordinates the university's percussion program. Senior Pikeville percussionist Jacob Collins says, as percussionists, we are required to play a lot of different instruments, so having a solid foundation on how to approach those instruments in order to get the best sound possible is really important. Percussionist Chris Ramey added, Dr. Geiger's attention to detail made our sound production much better. His teaching style allowed us to learn various techniques in a comfortable environment. It was a fantastic experience. Director of Bands, Dr. Scott Basalia, believes it is necessary to provide many opportunities to expose his students to music educators. Bringing musicians to our campus who have rich pedigree and experiences exposes our students to the highest levels of artistic performance and scholarship. Senior percussionist Brock Runyon realized that it was a lot more fun than he realized. Having teachers of Dr. Geiger's caliber is definitely allowing us to take it up a level at Pikeville, said Runyon. In 2013, Geiger was winner of the 2013 International Vibraphone Competition by the Percussive Arts Society. He is also a percussionist and timpanist for the Grammy-nominated recording of Darius Mio's Le Oresti. While opportunities to study with such professionals is rare in Eastern Kentucky, Bersaglia believes it is necessary and crucial in helping a student reach their full potential. We are very fortunate to have an administration who sees the importance of excellence in teaching and who are supportive of our arts programs. They know that it is impossible to help students raise their standards if an example is not provided for them. Having seasoned professionals like Dr. Geiger on our campus only strengthens our students' knowledge and abilities. Jacob Collins remarked, We know it's very special to have Dr. Geiger come to our school to teach us, and it is something we do not take for granted. 